Today is Sunday, March 24th, 2024. It is snowing outside in Minnesota. And I'm here connecting to my higher self, my source consciousness, the light beings that are here to guide, to help us ascend, to help us evolve. I'm here to connect. Let's start by tapping into your heart space. Your heart center is the way for you to start to feel an elevated sense of frequency. Knowing that you have a grounding cord to Mama Gaia, as well as a connection to the stars and the toroidal field around you is what is going to help you clarify and expand upon your perception with your multidimensional experience. <sighs> Vina Chalice, Vina Chalice, your name, Vina Chalice, <laughs> Vina. Being from the vineyard, the truth seeker, chalice, being a vessel for God and for spirit. What a beautiful name. My name is Emmanuel and I am an angel. I am here to speak with you, to remind you, to understand that your soul has a harmonious resonance to guide you back to a higher divine template of light in which there was no original sin, but there was this source of consciousness that holds a pure vibration of light. Here we understand that planet Earth has suffered, but planet Earth has the experience, the human experience in which we the collective council of light don't always get to embody. You have indeed come here to learn and to experience. Please do not choose the experience that is a karmic record player of continuous harm, but learn how to put a full stop within your own internal conflict and allow yourself to surrender, to surrender, to rest, to surrender, to hope. Hope is what got you here. Hope is what got you here to listening and heeding into your intuition and your inner voice, which you will find has exactly this knowing that all is well. When you start to listen to that harmonious chord all is well, all is well. You change the recording, you change the dial, you start to sing the tune, knowing that this life of yours, this life of yours can be glorious 
beautiful, divine. You are very, very much protected. You're very, very much safe. Find out that part within you that prays for higher knowledge. Can you start to receive? Receive. Receive the healed version of you that can impart a peace offering to heal yourself and heal this life. We understand that planet Earth has violence, has fear, has difficulties, and that is one spectrum. But there is also so much to learn when you start to gravitate more joy, more curiosity as you unify your multidimensionality. Can you start to see the beauty can you start to reframe and experience solutions where life is not a problem to be solved, but an art to live into? Carry that in your being. It is time now for you to reshape, reshape, reshape this internal dialogue that you have with yourself. When you can do that, you become formless. You become a light being. That's where we all came from. And you start to gravitate more towards whew, feeling the lightness being gentle and not allowing yourself to re-imprint old densities to your essence. Your essence is inner light. Your essence is love. Your essence is harmony. Protect that with your encouragement to listen to your inner voice, to listen to your intuition, to step back into this place where you remain hopeful. Through hope comes guidance. Through guidance comes listening. And listening to this divine intelligence will restore you will restore you back to this original being of light where you came from. Learn how to listen more attentively to your heart, to your soul, and to your mind, acknowledging that you are divine, acknowledging that the resources within you will help you refine and attune yourself back to this harmonic resonance that is you when you connect to this soul level concept of your higher self your angelic self, your light being self. Let that be your key to raise your standard of well-being. Let that be your message to experience what it may be for you to carry yourself 
more with this experience that you are home, you are home, you are home within your soul. And as you become more acquainted to this feeling of home within your soul, can you start to feel at peace and bring more peace to those who are in need of hope, who are in need of listening to their inner voice, which will carry them back to this original lightness, which is who they are. Hmm. That was Angel Emmanuel from the Council of Light. I know her. I haven't seen her, but she's very familiar to me. <laughs> How do you know? It's just an inner knowing. It's just a remembrance. That's why a lot of people can sometimes, um, I don't know, they can, they can have like a good feeling about something or, or someone, or they can learn how to trust or they can learn how to surrender. <sighs> <laughs> Take care, be well. I'll see you tomorrow.